nonetheless is uh, another funky fresh face to kind of bring into this meta. Uh, we don't see IG Vitality pull out even like the likes of a Jakiro. Here, making sure that no tail can farm. If Jerax or Fly were to ever leave, like they can't stack. They can't rotate to mid. So it's pretty much just a strict 1v1 Ana versus Sakata. And, and you know, right now the Legion's actually winning. So if these two uh, 1v1s do well, and oh, there might be a few drop here. Ooh, pops out. Oh, there we go. Not going to be good enough. Yep, that loose and bean will come on through, but Jerex gets the last little Bottom right click well. in, and it will earn him the nod. Bottom lane, they're making a move on S4. The clockwork here, he's trying to create some space and maybe get off of cogs if necessary. It's not going to be necessary. The most, because Luna's just not that self-sufficient. An arrow comes in. And Goodbye. with it, a Lucent Beam. And we see the back end of it, but that is going to be Slardar going down. And maybe getting his Blink Dagger going, the Warlock Golem coming up on Burning, and then trying to use like the Infest combination with Sakata in All some right. way in mid. Rush in from IG. They really oh. want to make something work here, but Jerex gets a nice connection of an arrow. It oh. ruins everything for IG, and Sakata's going to be going down right away. OG giving nothing right now to IG, and they're going to be wanting more oh as they secure a Q kill and a triple kill for Ana. OG on right now saying, this is my new organization and uh, we're doing pretty well. They happen and they get shut down. Paparazzi, Rage, TP will be able to make it out just in time because trouble was en route. Back at top lane, IGV, that hunger continues as they're diving on in, looking to go for no tail. He gets oh, off the no. Eclipse, S4 also jumps in. The rock though comes on top and it could be good enough. It will get no tail down and also will lead to unfortunate demise of both Sakata and the Slardar. They're turning back it around. Good ice paths. Could be good enough to get Ana, but he's able to jump back it away. Jarek steps in, helps clean things up. They should be able to get Q as well. He needed another right click. We'll get it done. Here comes Paparazzi now, jumping on in, trying to get a hit on Ana. Not going to be able to grab it. Double kill for Jarek. Four go down for Mike. Oh they could make God. it five, and they will. Ana makes it a full five-man wipe. Oh, potential... Moonlight Shadow Gank, there you want Paparazzi here. Arrow is out, Paparazzi no not paying attention. No way. He's not looking, so he doesn't hit Rage, and he dies. I mean, that arrow had been coming a while, but, he had uh, to... you know, yeah. But there's a Deso up now. They're going to smoke. Okay. It's a fresh mm -hmm. blink on in July. This is it. This is it, Drasko. I feel it. It's IG's time to get back into this game. Let's see if they can do it now. Jump in, crush. Oh. Okay, a little bit of a force, oh. and jump in from oh. S4, and don't even think about it, IG, you're gonna get nothing. Turn it back onto Paparazzi now, and they want some Life Stealer blood, and they will certainly get it. Uh, Rock will have to come out from IG in July, very low. Fatal Bond's doing a little bit of work there on the S4. They can't get the grab on in July yet, and he's gonna be able to blink back in a way, but still just losing your Life Stealer. Oh, S4! Get them with the rocket, well played on that one, and oh my Burning God. as well, could be caught out. They get him with a disruption, and they blow him up. It's godlike for Honor Another right player. now. Oh my god, oh. there it is, S4 gets also the grab onto Jakiro. It is ridiculous how well they are playing. Well, IG just split the difference in the top lane for now. Uh, fending him off as much as possible, now towards the bottom lane where we have Burning. The one man getting uh, one man by the other support. That's Jarek, so. That, that ain't a support, right. man, look at his farm. Yeah. He's got Aghanims, Arcanes, and a thousand goals. <laughs> and he but they got the tower. Up. They, they did the get the tower. They did. Is he going to go for the hook? He's going to go for the hook. Ready? Lines it up. Does he have the billiard shot? Oh, Ooh. yes, he does. There we go, S4. Good connection on that. Uh, tries to get off the medallion here. And, oh, man, in July, jumps in to help out, and he jumps into a world of hurt there. They'll take him down. And they're saying, Paparazzi, we're not done with you yet. The chase is on. They slow him down with the chakra. Oh. Beautiful connection with the timber chain. Man, OG are playing a hell of a good Dota right now. Because of how much money they've gotten through, you know, killing towers and whatnot. They're not even going for Roche. They're just doing a high ground siege. Yeah. As they slowly pitter-patter around, there's going to be the jump call. They're going to make their move in. At the same time, there is going to be a holding duel onto Timbersaw, but they can't get that kill onto S4 or the Timbersaw. A rock will be dropped, but it's not going to be good enough. Three to two, three, as uh, OG is looking to close this one out. A jump back in from Ana. Triple kill, G -G. double ultra kill, goddamn quad kill, godlike streak. It don't matter. OG win this one convincingly. 25 to three. Oh my god, that was a crushing. That timber okay. saw just did way too much. It did way, way, way too much.
Oh, with the tide and the Rubik and whatnot, but uh, the Timber Saw solidifies their damage output, so that will definitely help a lot. Ursa is amazing against their course. It's seen commonly throughout the major so far against Timber Saw. Uh, towards the mid lane here and towards the Invoker, I do not see a sentry anywhere on the ground, so we'll see if they can start to set anything up. If they get the hits in, the Blade Fury's coming out. He's in trouble, and he will go down. Sunstrike will be had for IGV. Already Q gets a nice early start, channeling his inner garter, if you will. And he can just go back into finding a, finding a hero that he can just stand behind, which I guess is going to have to be Ana in this case. The Q comes in. They see him now. Ana adjusts a bit, gets some shots uh, in. Now they're coming in for the Blade Fury. In July, suddenly rotates over and offers up a little bit of a nuke himself, and that secures the extra kill. No one suspects the rotating Tidehunter. He wasn't applying pressure. He was stacking the Ancients, too. So in July, mm -hmm. has got a, a triple stack of Ancients to go fall back on, even if his lane isn't good. Gonna see uh, Paparazzi. Might be in trouble. Let's see if they can get him this time. They're looking to block him on the front side, and he's going to be forced to go all the way out and around to the right. Meanwhile, Sakata picks up a kill onto Ana in the mid lane, but we'll keep action here as we see the demise as Paparazzi goes down. OG are able to get themselves on the board now. So you, but if you die 1v1, that's that's something that cannot be allowed to happen because Sakata's already had a really good start. They're going to go for a dive here. S4 is not 6 yet. No, he is not. There's the golden lift as they pull him up and towards the tower. He's quickly surrounded by three and really does not stand a chance. Bottom lane doesn't stop there. Two have surrounded onto no tail. He tries to get off a couple of swipes and now frantically looks to run away. Paparazzi, though, needs to line up the shot. Doesn't want to commit in for it, but oh, oh God. God. Q will get it done. He's got a level two shuriken toss that will get the finish. It's all been countered by IGV. Bottom lane, Q and company looking to move on in. No level six yet for any track, but they get some hard hitting damage on the no tail and it looks like they're gonna be going in for the finish. He pops the ulti to mitigate a lot of the damage, stays alive for now, but Sakata is happy to jump on back and get the finish on the fly instead. Sun Strike not gonna be able to do a whole lot. And no tail gets zapped down with the fade bolt. S4 shows up, gets off the roar that will get the kill onto Q, turns it into a two for two trade. And Paparazzi is now stuck under the tower quite a bit, hit with the fade edict then well, also going to be hit with the stun. Tries to go for the Timber Chain TP. Will not be able to make it out in time. Last second will tick down. Turns into a three for two trade going the way of OG. It's really hard for OG to actually fight into that without the use of like all five of their heroes. You know, get the Fatal Bonds off with the Chaotic Offering. That's going to be how they can actually deal enough damage to get kills that way. And no tail. That's not where you want to be, buddy. Okay, he does pop the ulti off. Forces in July to commit his two. Uh, and as no tail will be able to survive the ravage, they quickly swarm around him and finish him off with another little snag of a fade bolt there by burning. In July, okay, he does have a TP and ravage is up in five. And a TP is going to be coming on here as uh, burning shows up first on the scene, and now the tide hunter to be here. OG begin their split, but look who creeps in from behind. S4 gets off a nice ulti. It's to quickly isolate and take out Burning. Now they rush on in, looking to go and try to get the finish on in July. He's going to be forced to commit the Ravage. It connects onto two, and No Tail looking to retreat out. It is a one-for-one -one trade as of right now, and then Ana's going to be taken down next. This is track money now. Swing in the way of IG if they can get it. No Tail swinging a miss on the Undershock, and we'll have to kind of weasel his way out, but he's going to be surrounded really once bad. again. Catches his Aegis, and uh, with Jerex as the only survivor, they will be there waiting for his second life, and it looks like they should be able to get it. IGV off to a very hot start, flipping the script from game number one as Sakata secures a double kill, and they pull ahead. Now 12 to 6. He has Guardian Greaves, he has Ravage. You can't really commit to him, so you need to have another way of like starting fights besides trying to focus in July. Q is coming in, has spotted S4, hits him with a track, and now the roar comes out. They will be able to quickly burst and take out the bounty hunter here. IGV looking to avenge him, they rush on in. No commitments of any ultis, and now the chase seems to be halted a bit for now. Big connection with the Fatal Bonds and with the Rock. OG thinking about making a move in, but there's a quick counterplay with the Greaves, with the Ravage. They shut down OG in their tracks and say, do not even think about it. Small win for OG, but that's a tier three, okay. So tier one, two, and three in the bottom lane. And maybe even a Rax. OG trying their best here. Early Fatal Bonds is oh, already out. Oh, but... Okay, that's dead, Rax. 
And now with Alacrity on the Cicada, he's able to kind of jump through it, but now the Rock will finally be committed. There's the counterplay as the Ravage will come out. They try to burst down No-Tail as much as possible, and they will get it. No-Tail's going to be out 45 seconds. It could be already in a situation where he might need to buy back. The chase is on for S4, and they'll get that one too. Both do have a buyback, but it may be just too late at this point. One Rax is already down this bottom lane, and Ana's also set to drop. Three already going down. IG have lost nobody. We could just see the towel thrown in here and now as IG will walk away with a full set of racks. They took the whole bottom lane in that push. Heroes in conjunction with that. I mean, that, I don't know. I, I'm just looking back at the draft and I'm thinking to myself, first pick Rubik. A first pick Rubik team did this. That just means we have much more to learn about Dota Coddle Guy. That's, that's all it means. Yeah, this is such a wonderful patch, Ice Frog. Thank you so much. But uh, nonetheless, back in mid lane, IG will need to get the GG call if Jesus. they want to walk away with the W. And uh, Paparazzi certainly making a case for it. Quickly secures a double kill for himself, shredding apart the team. It looks like uh, S4 may be able to get a forgiving kill. No, what am I kidding? Oh my They will God. miss their Sun Strike. Angel Eye won't get that grab. S4 will be able to pull out the uh, roar, but uh, Sakata continues to go to work. Triple kill now for Paparazzi. Ana also rushing on in. He say in the matter and want to try to close this out 2-0. This is their final hurrah, but it is looking like IG are going to be able to take this to the full ge three game stretch as they're Damn. beginning to crumble down their second set of racks burning. Leading in, it's Telkinesis, the pullback, the rock, the bonds are going to be committed from OG. This is it for them. No tail is going to be taken apart. S4 is next to fall here, and that should do it. IGB already walked away with a couple of kills, forcing out the buyback from No Tail. He's trying to blink in, he's trying to get the catch, but now Insta slowed, Insta diffused, and now just sadly walking forward and catching nothing. Like a lone little teddy bear, not going to be able to get his cute little paws onto anything. Paparazzi the machine, happy to shrug off all that damage. They need one more hit, the Shivas could and will do it. Godlike right now for Paparazzi. Just giving a message right back to OG and what they offered in game number one. IGB say we can dominate too. Yeah, this is this is very impressive, especially after having lost a game like they did in game one, and then coming back and being able to do this with, yep. I would say, maybe not necessarily an, an unorthodox draft, but a draft that I feel had Ooh. another one of those high level of execution that was necessary to be able to succeed. And my God, did they execute? They just did everything right. I mean, even Burning managed to steal a couple of really useful spells. Like you don't think about it, yeah. but stuff like Alacrity and Bloodlust, when you're pushing and you can put that on your core, it is so good. Not looking to throw in the towel yet. Want to make IG work all the way for the win. And they're going to commit everything they can to see if they can get Paparazzi down. He's got a serious bounty on his head. 10 and 2. 24 Bloodstone charges. They'll finally get him down. He comes back in about four seconds. And could boot to travel in if he'd like. And oh, there he is. He's about to show up boy. behind the team after a back of a Ravage. And he came to play. On is going to be going down. IG get her done. Fly also. No, let me get back in my fountain. Not going to happen. But he'll buy back. No chaotic offering. This one is over, Draskal. That is no doubt at all. I mean, they yeah. even got to wait out no tail in his full spawn timer and then kill him again. The, the rough thing about this game is that they, they left Ana completely like by himself. The guy was like 1-7 and seven at one point, which I guess now he's 7-7, seven and seven, so he's made like some kind of quote-unquote recovery, if you want to call it that. Or no, I guess he was like 1-6 and six or 1-5 and five or something. But it's really tough to play Invoker when you're playing against a hero that has good kill potential like Juggernaut because of spin. Sure, you can kill the Timbersaw, but the Timbersaw can also kill you and Tide Ravage in every single fight. Like, you're gonna get hit. You're an Ursa. He doesn't have a reason to Ravage anybody else because you're like the highest damage output on the team because the Invoker is just dying all the time. It, it really worked out well for IGV. Um, the Tidehunter pick, I think, ended up paying absolute Let's dividends go. for them. This is it for IG. One more smoke wraparound, roar, rock, a people combo. They will be able to get Burning down, but Paparazzi still gladly stands strong. The rest of OG go way outside the base here as they're able to grab Q. They do get also the Injulai Tidehunter here, but when the cores come to play, OG don't have an answer for them. These are the true gods of the game right now, and there is no answer for them. They suck at hitting buildings, though, let me tell you. Except for Sakata, who's finally here and can put the 
real nail in the coffin now, but jumps in. Omni, bring him into the base. Bring him into the fountain. They try to bring him in, but gets caught outside. Ice Wall slowing him down a bit. What is this game? Will they get the finish? Yeah, they will. All right. Scott is down without a buyback. And uh, uh, they're also going too. for Paparazzi, too. Sunstrike gets connection as he timber chains forward. Honest oh my god. Oh they fight him god. down. Oh, oh he's got the way. He's got he Dagget. makes it good. Oh. They get him down. OG hold. <laughs> I mean, their base is dying to creeps. It is. It is. They got to clear it. OG, though, at least uh, maybe with that last takedown. Feel like if we can get one mega clutch play, which could be here. Oh, they they headed a bit early, but just below them into the south is IG. Oh and my god! S4. They just jump on in. The Omni slash is there. It shreds apart their Beastmaster. He has no buyback. Jarek's also going to be going down. So already at a three versus five disadvantage. Well, let's just see if OG can somehow hold it. No tail pops his BKB, runs on in, looks to slash apart Sakata, gets some good damage in, but there's going to be the four staff, which shoves him back and off and away. While there is going to be fly on the other side, zapped uh, down. Telkinesis on the no tail, and that's it for him. Last survivor is Ana, who's going to get ravaged up, and they will surround the magician and make him pay for all of his dirty magic deeds. A five man wipe and a triple kill for Paparazzi will be the last thing we see is it's going to be IGV who will claim game number two and it looks like Drasko for the second day straight. We're going to be going to a game three. DK has picked a couple of times I'm seeing here. Uh, he's played it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there it is, DK. I mean, unfortunately... That says to me, his hero pool is obviously pretty sp Giving the early six to the bounty hunter, like how much is this going to do? Because right now, OG, they can't oh, really there it stop. Is. Roll in the mid oh, lane. Sakata gets kicked back. They need a few more right clicks here to get it done. And it looks like they may not be able to unless uh, breathe fire in four seconds. Roll so one, one more boulder smash. Rolling boulder, rolling boulder. He's not able to side that bit, and they'll get it done. Woo! Caused uh, a little bit of a commitment. No rotations will come out for assistance. A bit too precious in the laning stage right now, but I can't really offer a whole lot, especially with Boars are out. So Jarex will need to kind of avoid that front. And he's just trying instead to leech uh, some XP where possible. He actually rolls right on past in July here. And Fly with a haste rune just wildly shows up. He Ooh. times out the boulder smash and they will be able to secure the kill. A takedown on the Beastmaster. Very nice, but look who looks to... Coming from the front, Sakata with the cold snap. Q is nearby. Q makes his commitment. Jarex, though, has the roll and will be able to make it to the low ground and out from trouble. S4 now, as him and Jarex both smoke up, waiting to see who could show themselves in this mid lane. Invoker around, but he had been moving into the jungle to find the farm there. Burning shows himself behind the tower, and Fly immediately goes for the strike. The disruption leads to an easy rolling boulder, which leads to the kill. No Tail also getting involved in this one. It looks like we could see a five man movement here. A follow up on his Sakata with the help of the Eclipse. One more nuke will do it, and it's a double kill for No Tail. Huge success already in the early laning stage. Back in mid lane, they're trying to get the jump on for Ana. They will get that kill. And as the Omni Slash comes out, they'll wait for his return. Paparazzi going to be bullied down. IGV continue to crumble a little bit here as they lose what? It's Ada freaking solo clips to the face. Manages to walk away. But yeah, I, I do think the IGV want to fight. Oh, they want to make something happen here on the bottom. No Table is able to TP away, but Fly is spotted. And now gets hit with the slow. The track move speed is there. No... Ooh, Sunstrike will get the last finish. That picks that one up. And track money in the pocket for them. Ooh, swing and a miss. On a stun, but connecting with the silence. Q has to run. Jerix has three stones to refresh this ulti. Should be able to do it. Oh, this is the boldest match. One more stone, though. That should be the kill. And uh, he'll keep following to get the XP. So at least a two-for-one trade at the end of the day for OG. Um, okay, they already did a couple of people there. Looks like No Tail is going to be in front. But yeah, they they need to be very careful because he pops the DD as well. Uh, he might be Rotations dead. Rotations from both sides here. Ana caught up in arms now with Paparazzi, but then S4 makes his own jump in. Beautiful set of stuns comes out. Jarek commits the Magnetize, but they already had died, so it's not going to catch on to anyone there, and he'll just get the Omni Slash and get shredded apart. And uh, over on the other side, they were able to take down the Invoker.
smoke movement here for my TV as they head right towards the top part of this mid lane and Arcane Rune is going to get snagged up. Oh. And then oh they boy. roll on in. Huge boulder smash oh. on the three. A roll in two. And with the jump in from Ana, they look to shred him apart. Magnetai is also going to get big connection on that one. Paparazzi to go down. And they already hit up Q with that Magnetai. That could connect and reset the cooldown. And it will. He is going to be set to burn apart. And it's quickly a four man takedown from OG just like that. S4 getting the double kill there at the end. But my goodness, OG have opened it up. So OG are just going to keep their presence up here towards the mid lane and towards the I mean, I think IG, IG actually side push things. faster than OG. I'm actually almost certain they do. They, they're going to be forced back, yeah. Alacrity and Beastmaster certainly can make an argument for that. Dragon Jump in Crush, Nuke, and uh, that's a quick and dead uh, paparazzi jug. It looks like Jerix was jumping in, but it's quickly taken apart too. A one for one trade. Burning going to be going down. OG on the roll forward here. Quick claiming the lives of two, oh, and they're not done yet. In July goes down just as fast, man. With that ridiculous amplified damage, he really doesn't stand a chance. Ana claims a triple kill. I don't know if they're shaking up for a moment or picking their nose for that moment, but he seems to find that window where he can jump in and make that kind of an impact here and does it already in this game number three. In July, hanging out near the side shop, and speaking of the devil, it's S4 who shows up with that crush. And then Duke and a couple of glaze, and that is quick work by No Tail. Man, butterfly in hand. Um, in the meantime, Paparazzi did expend his Omni Slash. He tried to go for a solo kill on a Jerax. Jerax just rolled away. Omni didn't follow. Pretty unfortunate. Now with no Omni, they're just diving the base. Yes. They are on a way deep back and behind. Looking to go for B-God himself. The burning, the Emperor one is out. And uh, with that, the tier three set to fall two. A glyph is going to be committed here, but OG feeling pretty damn good about walking away from this best of three. And towards the top seed, Sakata crushed. He's gone too. Going to be forced into buyback here on his Invoker. These racks are gone. Tier 3 mid lane also going to be going down in this one and could be it before you know it. Paparazzi, though, persistent, man. Does not want to double back. And it looks like OG GG. are going to finish there. And IG recognize they have no opportunity to make it. And that'll do it. GG is called. And OG will walk away with the win. Man, even for a minute one, it seemed like OG just had it this game.